Let's take a look at an example together called Draw Lots of Circles. We're going to be writing a program that draws lots of circles on our canvas by creating a draw circle function, giving it some parameters, and then calling that function a few times. We already have an empty draw circle function defined for us, so now we need to decide what parameters we want to give it and then fill in the function body. Since we're drawing circles, let's give it all of the parameters needed to create and customize a circle. We'll need a parameter for the radius, color, x position, and y position. And we can use these parameters inside of our function body just like we would variables. Let's now write out the code to create a circle. Notice how instead of writing an actual value for the radius, we just write the name of our parameter, radius. The same goes for the color value and the x and y values. Our function is not complete. Let's call it inside of the main function and see what happens. If we try to call our function right now with empty parentheses, we'll get an error. That's because the function draw circle is expecting us to give it the values to use for its parameters. Let's write in the arguments for this function. First, we'll need a number value for the radius, then a string value for the color, and then two more number values for the x and y positions. Now when we hit run again, we should see our circle. Great, let's add another circle. This time, let's see what happens when we write the color argument first instead of the radius argument. So we have our color, let's give it a radius of 50, a next position of 50 as well, and a y position of 100. Let's run our code again and see what happens. We get another error. That's because the order of parameters and arguments matter. Since we put the radius parameter first when defining our function, when we call our function, it's expecting a number to be that first argument as well. Let's switch the order of those two arguments and hit run again. Great, now we actually see our circle. Let's add in a couple more. For the color, we can even pass in a hex value as a string and it will still work. Let's use the hex value for a shade of yellow. We can also use other commands when passing in arguments. For instance, if you wanted this circle to be positioned in the center of the canvas, we can use the getWidth command divided by 2 for the x position and the getHeight command divided by 2 for the y position. This works because when we divide get height and get width by two, we still get a number value, which is all the function cares about. Let's hit run one more time to see what happens. And it looks like we made a mistake with our hex value string. To fix it, all we need to do is add a hashtag at the front. Okay, now if we run it again, we should see the yellow color. Great, now it's your turn to explore using functions and parameters.